Hey Internet, I'm the Cow Says Moo, and you're watching Dr. Moo Adventuring Bovine, Episode 6, a Minecraft 1.5.2 Let's Play with a bunch of mods installed. Um, I've been playing a little bit since the last episode. I've gone up and done a little bit more landscaping up there, and I've also started uh, cooking up some marble, because I've gone out and did some quarrying of cobblestone and marble. Uh, so I've cooked up just a couple uh, stacks here, not much so far. Um, but I'll be taking that up there, we'll probably hit that real quick. Uh, in just a second, but I've also done a bit more exploring off-camera. Um, I ran out, I don't remember which direction, and I've hidden it already, but some direction out in the water and found a two-man boat. Uh, not much on it, but I did find a couple more statues. And then earlier today, I went out exploring in that direction, and you can see all of my uh, waypoints out there. I hit a bunch of boats, most of them pretty small, though there was a five-man boat that had three chests on it, which was nice. And then a couple floating ruins, uh, two of which had charged creepers, which was kind of a pain, but I did manage to get through those and get them just destroyed. And then there was a blaze one out here that I was able to get just a couple blaze rods from, and uh, looted the chest, but was able to keep the blaze spawner in place so I can go back to it when I'm ready. Um, so I got four blaze rods, which is a good start. Um, and I also got just tons of other stuff. Uh, I was out just out on the ocean there on a little boat and found that finding uh, these household god statue pieces is much easier when you're in the ocean. They glow up on the little mini-map just as a little glowing flower and you, you know, drop down to the water with a ladder and a couple blocks and make yourself a little breathing place and collect all the statues. So I got a ton of them here, as you can see. So we'll start trying to put some of those together today, probably, too. Um, I also got a few other things. I hit one Ars Magica Tower uh, earlier. Got a few spells. Maybe we'll just go ahead and get those learned. Uh, I don't have a spell book or anything like that yet set up, but we'll get to those. Um, what else did I get out of chests and stuff? Looks like I got several music discs. I got this cool spyglass. Um, you just right click with it on some distant block and it tells you what it is. Pine leaves at this such and such uh, location. Pretty cool. Oh, that must be just a little too far to see. Found stone. Found malaberry bush. Yeah, very cool. Oh, what else did I get here? I got some potions. I got all of these, like I said, and a couple bottles of enchanting, glowstone dust, ooh, another star. Yeah, there was another star in one of those chests. That's awesome. Um, and then a little bit of iron and gold and uh, emeralds. No more diamonds, but still, pretty good trip. Uh, lots of essences and magical stuff, so that's cool once we start getting ready to work on some of those magic um, I want to make my tower really before I get to that, I think. So, anyway, I'll put all this stuff away, and then I think we'll hit up topside and uh, show you the landscaping I've done up there, and then we'll start working on something. Maybe fooling around just a little bit with the statues and putting them together to see what they look like. I'll probably put, like, uh, um, I can't remember her name. Demeter? Yeah, Demeter here in the garden. Make these plants speed up their growth just a little bit. I think I've got all three of her now, so we'll try putting her together and we'll see. Uh, anyway, uh, let me try dumping off some of the stuff. Uh, I might not even have enough chest room, but we'll see. Uh, be back in a bit. Alright, so I've got all my little statue guys sorted here. Um, and I've just got them alphabetized by God. So I've got Anubis, Aphrodite, um, um, Asclepius, Beowulf. Demeter, Gozer, uh, Hephaestus, Hestia, Jupiter, Cocopelli, Mammon, um, this one is uh, Minerva, Poseidon, Prometheus, Quetzalcoatl, and Sinch, um, who's the changer of ways listed in the uh, thread. Um, and the one up here, Gozer, that's the roaster of Shoves and Zools from Ghostbusters, of course. <laughs> Anyway, so I've got a few of these uh, completed. I've got Anubis. I've got Aphrodite complete. I've got 
Uh, Demeter, I think. Oh, no, wait. I don't have Demeter. I still don't have her feet. Well, that's a pity. I was going to try to make her. Um, I guess I could make Hestia. Hestia makes food. Um, what else do we have completed? We've got Poseidon. I guess I could put him out in the water there. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that. We'll make Poseidon and put him out on this little island that I had the other thing on. The abomination <laughs> before. Let's see. Poseidon looks cool too. Ah oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that beard. The bearded sea god. <laughs> so what he does, I think, is summons water. So what I expect is probably this will turn into a little waterfall area or something, maybe. We'll see. I'm not sure how big of an area it is. It might cause some problems with my farm. But we'll see what happens. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Maybe we'll put together one of the other ones, too. Um, let's see. I grabbed a side so I think I'm going to put a couple pieces of dirt in there just to keep track of what I have. There we go. Um, let's see. Like I said, I've got Hestia complete, so maybe we'll put her together in here. Hestia, alrighty. And maybe I'll just put her right here. Um, that'll block this. Maybe I'll pull that out for right now. she does is she summons food. She's goddess of the hearth. Uh, so she summons food and puts it in nearby chests or furnaces. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. She's got a big bowl of food right there. Cool. Neat. We'll see what happens. I'll probably keep an eye on this chest because it's got some room in it. Um, that one's got a little room. So we'll just keep an eye on those chests and see if they get food in them. Or maybe they'll end up coming down here into the furnace. I don't really know how quickly it all happens, so we'll see. Uh, like I said when I first started, I haven't actually played with this mod at all, or mod at all before, so... Uh, do we have anything else we can put together? Uh, this one looks really cool, but I don't have any pieces of him except for this one. But look at him. Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, he's awesome. We'll definitely put him together once I get a little bit more of him. Uh, oh, I just got an egg. I bet that she summoned it for me. Cool. Thanks, goddess. Very nice. So now we've got a couple completed uh, god statues around here. Uh, maybe we will head up top now and uh, maybe start working on the tower just a little bit. I don't have much uh, marble cooked up yet. And that's what I want to use for the most part, I think. But we'll head up there and I'll at least show off the landscaping that I've done. And where the tower is going to be and what else I've got planned up there. Um, not a whole lot else planned up there yet, but I'll show you what I do have. And then I think we might go raid that stronghold that we found last time. Get some stuff together and go try to raid that. I might get in over my head doing that, but it sounds like fun, so we'll give it a shot. Um, yeah, I've put this ladder here temporarily. Uh, works pretty well. Oh, see that uh, me and Eric comment? I think the Norman village destroyed uh, one of the Hindi villages over here. I have a spider up here somewhere? Nope, I don't see one. But uh, yeah, I think they've destroyed Mahal there. <laughs> oh, whatever. We'll let them do their thing. I've been trading with them a little bit here and there, getting some faction up with them, but uh, they apparently don't like each other much, so they're fighting. They've been doing raids pretty constantly, and uh, a little while ago when I was out in the ocean, I got a message saying that 
Um, the hall's chests are all unlocked. So I assume that means the Normans finally just kicked their butts totally. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, as you can see, I've got the fence pretty much surrounding this entire area. Uh, I might have a few spots left over. Um, fences just take a ton of wood. wood so. And underneath the fence, I've put some cobblestone, because I think it looks pretty good just lining the whole area. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I don't have it quite finished over here. But this is going to be the main tower, right here, and I've got it kind of laid out. Um, I can't decide what exactly I'm going to do with it, but I will at least get started on some marble bricks here and we'll lay them down. and That way it starts showing up on the map too. You can kind of see it on the mini-map, but not particularly interesting yet. So... I think I just want a thin outer wall all the way around it, but I can't decide if one is going to be too thin. It might be. But I guess we'll just go like this for right now. And get the foundation down. Wow, this marble's actually really nice. I like it. Yeah, that looks good on the mini-map, too. Cool. So, this is going to be where my main tower is, and it's a pretty good size. I kind of like that size. Now that I've got the walls up just a little bit, I think that'll work for me. Um, I do think I might end up doubling that outer wall. Just because one square, this part right here, is awful thin. So I might end up having to move these stairs and stuff just a little bit. Not a big deal. Or maybe I could just reduce the size of this a, a bit. Because this tower is pretty good size. No, I kind of want to keep it big, I think. So... Hmm. I guess I could... kind of make an outer wall with both of these two and then have this be the inner wall going up. That might work. Maybe I'll do it like that. That sounds pretty good. So it'll be kind of like this. And then this part here on the inside will go all the way up, go up quite a ways, and this part here will only go up like eight or ten squares and maybe have some sort of access and you can walk all the way around. I kind of like that idea. I think that's going to work for me. Cool. So I won't have to resize this, maybe. Um, I don't know why I put the door over there. Where's my stairs? Here they are. This is going to be my door. <laughs> I'm going to use other blocks here and there. I'm not just going to use white bricks all the way around, but for the time being this will work, just to give me an idea of what it looks like. I'm going to need way more marble too. Cool. There we go. And if we tootle around the rest of this, uh, I still don't know what exactly to call it. Plateau? Mesa? maybe, except it's kind of got a weird middle that thins. Um, we can see that it extends quite a ways over in this direction. Out here, and I can get a kind of a view of the ocean there. Can't quite see any of the boats and stuff that I just recently looted. They're quite a ways out there. But it looks good nevertheless. And over here we've got the... <laughs> Ran out of cobblestone.
sandstone. We've got the Hindi villages out in the desert. And yeah, it looks like there's uh, a bunch of buildings missing, actually, because there used to be a bunch of buildings in the middle of that courtyard right there on the other side of this main building. I don't know, maybe they'll rebuild it if there's any alive. We'll see. I haven't played with me and Era for a long time. I don't remember raids even being in the game before, so we'll have to see what happens. And I've put in a few stairs here and there. Uh, as you can tell, I ran out of uh, fences, but... Oh, hey, piggy. Cool. But I've got a few different terraces, uh, just... Uh, some variety in land height, keep things kind of interesting. Um, I'm probably going to attach some sort of building, uh, maybe coming out here down on this area from this tower, linking to, I don't know, either another little tower or maybe have a few other buildings up here and then um, nice green space in here with some water and a bunch of different kinds of trees, not just these pines. I've been saving up all, all kinds of different uh, saplings as I find them. What's down here? Oh, this kind of led down to a couple different caves. There we go. So I just dropped my stairway down here. There's not a whole lot in these caves, but I found a couple of them when I was snooping around, so I just uh, exposed them. Oh, a little more marble. That's cool. I might have to build a nice little quarry in here. Alrighty. And we'll go back up these. It's just a few point over here. A few point of the destroyed village, apparently. <laughs> I'll have to go check that village out, too, see if maybe it go turns into ruins or something, because that'd be awesome if it does. Or maybe they'll just uh, rebuild, I don't know. Alrighty, I got a bad guy over here somewhere. Yeah, skeleton, okay. Come on, get a little closer. There we go. And over here, I've got another little mini tower plotted out. And I'm going to build a building coming off of it. And this will be kind of my uh, factory area or warehouses and stuff. This rectangular area will come just straight off of this tower. I don't know what exactly I'm going to put there, but I'll have something. And as you can see, it continues even further on, so it's quite a large area. Uh, it'll be some nice uh, green space, and I hope to pretty it up very well. We'll see. See if I can pull it off. Another little viewing area. Looks like we got a vulture out there. Cool. this tower. And it narrows down quite a bit over here, and just this is definitely just going to be pretty area. And climbs back up and reaches the end of this mesa, overlooking the Japanese village, which is doing quite well. I mean, look at all that stuff down they've got built down there. I've traded them a little bit of stuff, a little bit of iron, and uh, just a bit of cobblestone. I haven't been able to spare much cobblestone. Uh, but they're doing pretty well for themselves there. Uh, you may notice that I've hidden most of my waypoints, too. Um, there were just way too many waypoints out there, so I'm just going to keep them for an episode or two and then hide them and go back and look at them when I need them. Uh, overlooking the bog there. That's pretty cool. Uh, where's the Norman village? Can we see that from up here? I know I've found it before, and I think I even found it on camera, but we'll see. I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is.
Mm, really can't see it very well from up here, I guess. Let's go around the point over there. Well, it's less than 200 away. We might be able to see it. Oh yeah, we can see just a little bit of it. A couple of the buildings right there. Cool. So we can see all three of our uh, civilizations from up here. Hey, I think that might be a chocobo down there. We're going to have to go check that out. Let's do that right now. Um, do I have my fruit on me or did I get rid of it? I do. Awesome. We're going to go check that out. I think that's a chocobo down there. I haven't even seen one yet. That was down towards the Norman village, kind of. Over there. Oh, that was kind of the direction I was just in, going out to sea. I don't know if chocobos are static when they're not tamed or anything, or, or if they pop in and out. But I have yet to see any. Alright, come on. Here, birdie birdie. You were over here somewhere. There you are, in the water. What are you doing in the water? Nice. Alright, let's see if we can tame this bad boy. Yeah, that's working. Awesome! And now, how do you get him to follow you? I thought... It was something like this. I might have to look that one up. But we've got a tamed. I think he's a colorful one. He's got those feathers on his head. I think he's a male. I wonder if there are any others around. What are you doing just out in the water there, dude? Oh, there's another one. I think it's female, too. She doesn't have those colorful feathers on her head, see? Come on. There we go. Now, how do I get them to follow me? Hmm. Well, I'll be back in just a second after I figure it out. Alright, I just looked it up on the, the forum thread, and it looks like I need to go get one of my Chocopedias or a feather, and I don't know if that means a Chocobo feather or a regular feather, so we'll go check it out. Um, we're pretty close to bed. Oh, is that a feather? It is. Let's see. See if that works. So are you following me? I can't tell. Are you gonna follow? Haha, <laughs> she's following me now. Excellent. Alright, let's go see. Is this my mail here? Um, I don't think that is. I think that's a different one. Let's try to tame him, too. There we go. This one might be my male over here. Let's see if I can get him to follow me as well. Looks like he just dropped a feather, too. There we go. Everybody should be following me. Excellent. Cool. We'll take him back uh, over to my bed. And uh, maybe we'll camp him out up on top of us for the time being. Uh, I don't know how the heck I'm going to get him up there, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. I might just have to make some... Uh, 
safari net and take him up there. That would work, I bet. Alright. Hey, get out of there. No. Alright, you're okay. Well, it's good to see they're no smarter than dogs. <laughs> case or not, but we'll see. And, uh, so yeah, he's creating water in crazy areas. Um, so I don't think I'm going to leave him there, because he's just damaging my farm, and, but it's working, as you can see. I mean, he created water up there, he created up water up here, created water on my farm, but Jupiter... You gotta go. No, not Jupiter. Poseidon, sorry. What? Probably created water there, too. Um, Prometheus, so this one's Poseidon. So, we'll put him back in here for now. And, uh set up another place for him later. Oh, I see. Uh, what that probably did is it probably lowered everything one square and added water up there. Interesting. Um, but I think I'm going to pop up there and get rid of that water. Because I don't really want it flowing right here. Alright, so <laughs> we managed to get a few chocobos. That was an added bonus for today. Awesome. Um, I think I'm going to dump off a little bit of this stuff and collect some things together. Maybe make myself some new pants. Ooh, and my chest plate and iron boots are getting pretty low too, so I might have to uh, make some more iron er, armor all around. And um, maybe we'll head back and try to hit that stronghold. So I'll be back in a bit. Alright, I'm ready to go. Made myself some new armor. Just dumped the rest of it up in here for the time being. Uh, got an extra sword, and in my backpack I've got, you know, a little bit of coal, some wood. Oh, she just gave me a pork chop. Thank you, Hestia. Um, extra wood, coal, iron, so I should be all set in case I break some of these things. So. We'll start heading out. I've revealed the stronghold on my map again, and we'll just head over that direction. Um, looks like it's about 700 away, so that'll be quite a little walk. I won't make you watch me do all of it, though I don't know that you've seen much of that uh, uh, bog or whatever it is over there, so maybe I'll leave it on for the time being. We'll go through... Uh, Japanese village here anyway. Kumagaya. They got all kinds of pretty neat stuff in here. Got a chicken farm where they're breeding and earning the experience points. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll pop in here real quick and tell them to like people a little better. Uh, where's the guy? Oh, he's usually back here, but he's not in there right now. He's a dude in yellow. Mm, I don't see him around. 
Ah, there he is. Uh, let's see. Minus 23, minus 8. Well, we'll definitely keep you going and then raise you up a bit. There we go. Now they like people a little bit more, or at least dislike them less. <laughs> Head over there to that stronghold. Once we get over to the bog and I start showing that. Oh, this building's new. Oh, cool. Transport items from village to village. Neat. I don't quite know how that works, but uh, it's pretty spiffy. Here's the bog, and the stronghold's kind of on the other side of the bog here. Um, I came in here, and there was a partially formed Ars Magica uh, labyrinth somewhere in here. I've got the waypoint hidden at the moment, but I came in here, and that's where I got those extra spells. It was just in that labyrinth. Because it was broken, I was able to uh, just mine my way in take what I wanted. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, come on. Stupid mud slows everything down quite a bit. Here we go. Oh, that's right. We found this when we were snooping around and found that boat over there. All right, anyway, uh, I will continue on to that stronghold and start back up when I get over there. See you guys in a bit. All righty, here we are. Uh, definitely a big, imposing structure. We'll see how to get into this thing, maybe. It's got a nice big tower and buttresses. That was kind of a weird sound. Not sure what it was. But I don't see anything around. Let's see if we can find a way in. If not, we can just dig our way in. But. Well, looks like it goes underneath it. Surely there's got to be an actual way in, right? They don't just hole up in there all, them, all by themselves. Ah, there we go. Walker. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what he is. Come here, Walker. <laughs> Got blue eyes, a la um, uh, Game of Thrones. That kind of walker. That's cool. Ooh, and they make creepy sounds. Good thing I made that second uh, sword. They're not too, too bad. They take several hits, but they're not too horrible. Alright, looks like it's all dark in here, though. Up. There we go. Ooh, Archer. Come on back here. Yeah, keep coming. Yeah, they hit pretty hard, but not too bad doable. That one 
is bounced off me. <laughs> I'll take it. Nice. Is that another archer? No, okay. I hear normal skeletons too. Almost more scared of normal skeletons than anything else so far. Skeletons have gotten kind of brutal. Ooh, what the heck? Look at that sword. Here, Berserker. He's got a lot of hit points, 25. Uh, tough spider. Of course. Nice, okay. Here, just a walker. You got a shield, though. Alright. Making some progress. What are you, Spearman? I don't know what that does. Uh, don't get yourself cornered here, cow. Awesome. Uh, don't do a lot of damage to the shield guy. That's alright. I'll get him a little down. There we go. Nice. Well, so far so good. Not as bad as it could be. Ooh, Archer. Alright, I'm gonna make a tactical retreat here and handle those archers. Alright. I'm going to light up the area out here just a little bit. Alright, there we go. Just so I don't get spawns right outside this thing. Alright. Well, not gone too bad so far. Eat and regen a bit. Almost up to 40 levels, that's cool. I have to do something with those levels. Still plenty of monsters in there though, man. Not dropping a whole heck of a lot yet. I can hit him? I don't know. We'll try here. <laughs> Just barely. I don't really have all that many arrows, but it's probably worth it for an archer. Alright, let's get rid of one of these. Archer. Oops. Normal skeleton. Let's back up a bit here. There we go. Come on, 
and drop me some arrows. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's another archer. I guess we'll just charge him. He's kind of at the end of a... Nice. Alrighty, that didn't go too badly. Um, looks like I'm going to be needing another sword here in a second. And how's my armor doing? Just fine. Okay, cool. Um, let's check out over here, see where the skeleton came from. Oh, looks like a food storage. Nice. Um, anything in these? two of these. Oh, a couple chests too. So sweet! It's just food, but it's still loot. We've got loot. Um, how do I... Can I pick up cake that's been... Nope, it doesn't look like it. Ow. Let's grab these pumpkins and, and melons, just because I can. Oh, see, that was actually a glowing pumpkin, it looks like. One of those may have been a jack-o'-lantern. Yep. And the smell will give me a little extra actual food, so we'll grab that too. Um, let's relate this a bit. Well, I think we have cleared out the first floor. Um, and I suspect that we are probably at about our time limit for this episode. So, well, maybe we'll check this out and see if there's something secret behind here. It's kind of a... oh, yep, uh, there it is. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of conspicuous. Ooh, this is trapped. Awesome. All right. I'm just going to assume that that... Ooh, I see. Those are dispensers over there. Probably shoots you when you walk across. Yep, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so great. Um, where is that zombie? Is he around somewhere? Or is he still up above me? I don't want him triggering those traps when I'm around, so I'm just being a little overly cautious again. Well, alright, uh, we will continue on breaking these traps. Oh, and you get these arrows. Uh, that's actually quite useful. I'll have to remember that I can come back here and pick up some more arrows. Whoa! Um, hmm. Well, I can hit him. Doesn't seem to be regenerating too quickly. 500, holy cow. It's gonna take a while. Oh, 
<laughs> that wasn't a good idea. Mental note, when you're triggering arrow traps, do it from the end, not from the middle. Alright, there's that zombie I was worried about. Alright, let's see if he regenerated. If he did, it's not worth trying this. Um, not too bad. I'm just going to soften him up and then head on in there and see what he does. But there's no way I could take 500 on with my limited equipment. 500 health, that's just crazy. And he probably hits like a, well, like a big ass turtle. And of course he's in the water, so that's going to make fighting all that much more of a pain. I don't see any other bad guys in there though, so that's good. Alright, we're getting close to a point where I'm ready to charge on in there and see what he does. Yeah, oh, and I'm out of arrows, so I guess that's a good time as any. Here he comes. Oh. Oh my goodness! What did he do to me? I think he just sent me up to the floor. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. Um, well then, I guess I'm going to have to come up here and clear out this before I go back to that turtle. Alright, well, um, give me a second. Let me come back here and I'll see if we can't get my stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm sure we're well past the end of the episode, so I think I'm just going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and you'll come back next episode, and we'll see if we can't finish off this turtle. Um, in the meantime, have fun, and keep mooing. <laughs>